Hey everyone, Katie Harris here. So are you exhausted, unmotivated, and maybe even snapping at people that you who you love and you don't even know why? But what if I told you it had less to do with your job or your age or, or any of those issues and more to do with a hidden connection that um, nobody's really looking at? And that's testosterone and those energy factories inside your cells, which are known as mitochondria. So this is the link that most providers miss and fixing it could change your life. So the connection with testosterone is it's not just about sex, right? Testosterone, sure, it, it increases your libido, but and it's often seen as that sex hormone, but that's just the surface, right? So testosterone actually acts inside of the mitochondria. The, again, those tiny little engines or powerhouse engines inside the cells and that boost energy production. So low testosterone means that your cells aren't gonna be able to make enough ATP. So your brain fogs over, your motivation tanks. Um, and again, we're not just talking about libido. We're talking about cellular energy metabolism and even emotional resilience. So quick fact here. So testosterone, it peaks in your 20s and declines by one to 2% per year after the age of 30. I mean, that's really young. <laughs> um, mitochondria are found in every single cell in your body. There's trillions of cells in your body and each of those cells has hundreds of mitochondria. So we're talking about numbers of orders of magnitude that are incomprehensible, but they're very, very concentrated in energy hungry tissue, like your brain, your heart and your muscle, they demand a lot of energy resources. So having low testosterone means you're gonna have less energy, uh, slower recovery, more fat, and basically less drive for anything. Libido, um, you know, just getting up and going to work. So testosterone isn't just for men. Um, you know, ladies, testosterone is your dominant hormone too. So this definitely uh, applies to you. But, um, you know, the, some of the symptoms of mitochondrial burnout that we're looking at is, let's say, uh, you wake up tired even after a full night's sleep, or you've lost your drive at work, in the gym, um, in the bedroom, of course, your belly fat's not budging. Brain fog and irritability seem to be the new normal that you experience every day. And these aren't just getting older signs. They're signs that your testosterone and mitochondria are both really struggling. And the answer isn't drinking more coffee or hitting the gym harder because those things can actually make it worse. So too much coffee is not a good thing. And too much hitting the gym is just gonna make you even more tired. So what are you, what are you supposed to do, right? So the solution is restoring that testosterone mitochondria access. Um, and it, it starts with getting your labs tested. So get your total and pre-testosterone uh, sex hormone binding globulin, which is SHBG, your estradiol, because men have estrogen. Um, you know, it, there is, there's receptors in the body in men for estrogen. It's just not your dominant hormone. And it's a small part of it, but it's an important part of it. So you don't want to block estrogen in men. Uh, and DHEA levels. DHEA is the hormone, the precursor that comes before testosterone. It's an over-the-counter medication, so uh, supplements. So it's something that you can just buy at the store and and see. You know that might give you a little boost of energy. Problem is, is that if you have really low testosterone, one of the best ways to get the testosterone level up is just going to be exogenous testosterone. But you also want to check markers of mitochondrial health, your oxidative stress labs, uh, your inflammation, and you can do functional tests as well, such as metabolic analysis. You can get the VO2 max and your heart rate variability, especially if you have something like the aura ring. The aura ring will track your heart rate variability, and it's a really important measure to, to be following. Okay, and then what do we do? Then we rebuild with testosterone replacement therapy. So if you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s and, and beyond, we have, uh, you know, 90 year old clients um, that get testosterone replacement, but you can get that um, if you are in your 20s and 30s and you're still looking to have kids, um, we do try to work with you with peptides. So peptides like gonadarellin, kispeptin to help increase the testosterone, uh, but also looking at reasons why the testosterone is low in the first place, because it could be um, plastics or toxins or all kinds of things. So that's important to, to work out. 
And then nutrient supplements like CoQ10, carnitine, and magnesium are really, really important uh, for helping to control oxidative stress and make sure the mitochondria are working the way they're supposed to be working. And of course, there's red, um, other therapies that you can do. So red light therapy helps to generate new mitochondria um, and help dysfunctional mitochondria. Ibu helps to uh, reduce oxidative stress in the body. Um, and then there's phospholipid support like the Prodrome products, Prodrome Neuro, Prodrome Glia, and BDMC, all of which are going to help mitochondria. So let me tell you about one of my patients. Um, this guy, Mark, 55 years old. He's an entrepreneur, super busy guy, working 60 hours a week. He's been doing this for years, decades, right? And it's never been a problem. And then all of a sudden it's a problem. Um, all of a sudden he's he's burnt out overweight, zero sex drive, and he's like, what is going on, right? And this is really, really common. Um, it's like what you could do even five years ago, you could, you were like amazing, right? And you could, you could live off of two hours of sleep and, and go into work and not have any problems, but now you can't. And it has to do with the changes that are going on in your body. And one of the big ones is low testosterone and excessive oxidative stress. So when we did his labs, sure enough, he had really, really low testosterone, like 300. And 300 is normal. On, on labs, when you look at labs, they'll say 300 is normal, but you don't feel normal at 300, right? So we shoot for optimal labs. We want your testosterone for men over a thousand. And men who have a testosterone over a thousand feel amazing, right? That drive is back. They know what they want to do. So we got him on testosterone replacement therapy. He loved it. Then also started to be complex, got him on uh, GLP-1 to help him with weight. So the testosterone increases metabolism, so we'll help you with weight. Um, so the, the GLP-1 was just kind of a temporary thing to help him get that belly fat off pretty quickly. And then we did daily habits from my minor mastery protocol. So within three months, he had dropped 15 pounds. I was super excited. He was lifting again. And he said, I feel like I've woken up from a coma. <laughs> Um, which is a, a really common response, especially to testosterone therapy. So if this sounds like you or someone that you care about, you want to grab my free Mito Mastery Guide. It's in the description below. It's the exact system I use to rebuild energy, optimize hormones, and reverse burnout at the cellular level. So the link's in the, in the description. Um, and if you want to hear, this is a part of a four-part series that we're doing. So if you want to get the next video where I uncover the male metabolic collapse, why it happens, how to fix it, and what your doctor isn't telling you, then subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.